Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Video Game Details, the series where we take a look at some of the cooler things that you may have missed when playing your favourite games, with the only rule being they cannot have been featured on my channel before. In today's video, we try to catch a floating bullet in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, we choke a hostage in Rainbow Six Siege, all in the name of science of course, and we once again try our best to trap ourselves in Portal 2. As always, if you think you know of a detail that I'm yet to cover, then the best places to let me know are in the comment section or on my social media accounts. The links, as always, are in the description. Oh, and even though I'm not entirely sure what they do, leaving a like on the video always makes me happy. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take a look at the excellent Portal 2. In the last episode of this series, we managed to trap ourselves in a couple of the test chambers in Portal 1. It's safe to say that GLaDOS was not best pleased. You're not a good person, you know that, right? Well, it turns out that you can also trap yourself in Portal 2. During the smooth jazz level, you can do this. You have trapped yourself. Congratulations. The exit door is now open. Now, unlike GLaDOS, this hidden dialogue gives me disappointed parent vibes. You know, when they would say, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. So in previous episodes of this series, we've covered some of the cool inspect animations in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So far, we've seen a dragon gun that tries to fly away and a rocket gun that well tries to take off. Thankfully, the gun we're taking a look at today isn't so keen to leave our grubby mitts. If you inspect the Hellscream variant of the Pellington 703, this will happen. So I actually bought the Hellscream pack just to record this detail. I'm actually a really rubbish sniper. So, you know, not saying you have to or anything, but a like would be really, really nice. Next up is Rainbow Six Siege, with a detail that makes sense when you think about it, but one that I'd never noticed before. During the hostage game mode, you're put in charge of the rescue, or the imprisonment, of a civilian. Now, of course, regardless of the team you're on, ideally you don't want to harm the hostage, otherwise it's round over for you. However, if the hostage is really, really annoying, you can make things uncomfortable for them. Simply throw a smoke grenade near your unwilling new friend, and they will begin to do this. <laughs> I mean, this does make sense, obviously. Have you ever tried breathing in smoke? I had a puff of a cigarette once and coughed so much that I almost threw up, but the fact that Ubisoft made it so the hostage reacted to the smoke is still pretty cool. Speaking of Ubisoft, let's take another quick look at Watch Dogs Legion. Now, in terms of internet buzz, it kind of feels like Legion came and went. Yet the game often features in videos on this channel, so make of that what you will. Now, the detail from Watch Dogs Legion can be seen when playing as an operative who works for Albion. For those who don't know, they're the bad guys in the game. When playing as an Albion guard, the standard takedown is replaced with the ability to arrest your target instead. It's great for those that like to do things non-lethally, as once the enemy is in handcuffs, they're no longer a threat. But if you decide you can't be bothered with all the paperwork that comes with an arrest, you can kill the handcuffed person, causing Bagley to voice his displeasure. Hey, let's work something out, yeah? I realise this is a difficult distinction for a vicious mammal like you to grasp, but there is such a thing as being too violent. So ever since it was announced that Skate 4 is in development, I've found myself using Skate 3 as my before bed game. You know the one, you're finished playing the high energy multiplayer games or the tense single player games and you just want to chill. That's what Skate 3 is to me. The trouble is, being a YouTuber means that I can rarely play games if I don't plan on covering them in a video. So to make myself feel better about playing the brilliant Skate 3, I decided to see what I could find. Well, what I did manage to find are some very, very strange signs. First up is this one, which to begin with looks like pretty standard stuff. However, if we read on, it says, Original University Campus was built in 1889. 
The campus was made entirely out of dried toothpaste. Even the tiny blue sign nearby is strange. It reads, at this location in 1924, PCU influenced the world by discovering quarry mining techniques using flatulence. That basically means that people mined using the power of farts. The next sign decides to poke fun at our newfound love of reading signs. This one says, I can't believe you're actually reading this. What are you doing? Get out there and skate. The final and in my opinion best sign is this, which simply says, recycle. It's pointless, but it sure makes you look good. Now, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but if you've seen any interesting signs in video games, please let me know. So I don't want to spend too long on this next detail, as it's found in the settings menu, which hardly screams excitement, but bear with me. In Hunt Showdown on the PC, you can set your maximum FPS to over 9000, which is of course a reference to this scene from Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta, what did you say his power level is? It's over 9000! 9000! Our penultimate detail comes from Team Fortress 2. Now, it's not uncommon for games to have special in-game events for certain holidays. Usually, those holidays are the big ones, like Halloween, Christmas, and maybe even Easter. Team Fortress 2 does things a little different. Whenever there's a full moon in real life, the game's main menu will change, featuring horror-themed Team Fortress 2 characters. Here are a few of my favourites. Now, I think that it's the same menu that is used on Halloween, but it's the first time I think I've ever seen a game celebrate a full moon. So the final detail comes from the brilliant Costume Quest 2. Costume Quest 2 is an action RPG that released in 2014. In it, you play as one of two siblings, Ren or Reynold, who must travel through areas collecting candy and costumes, all in an attempt to stop the evil Dr. Oral White, who wants to cancel Halloween due to the candy rotting the teeth of children. It's a really, really good game, reminding me a lot of South Park Fractured But Whole, which was released shortly after. Anyway, the detail from Costume Quest 2 is a really, really long one. You may recall that in the last episode of this series, we repeatedly threw ourselves off a ledge in Natural Selection 2, just to hear all of the dialogue the narrator would say. That took quite a while. Well, this takes longer, so with that in mind, I will put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip all of the secret dialogue, though I would recommend watching as it is really funny. So during the tutorial, you're asked to use your super ability. If you repeatedly fail this relatively simple task, this will happen.
So Corvus will say that he's now going to repeat everything he's already said. And true to his word, that is what he does. But if you make it all the way through the hidden dialogue a second time, this funny message can be seen. So in a fourth wall breaking moment, Corvus thinks that we're a QA tester because no normal person would have gone through all that again. This actually took me around 15 minutes of pressing the same button over and over and over. But you know what? I think it was worth it. So that's it. As mentioned, if you know of any Easter egg secrets or details that I'm yet to cover, then the best places to let me know are in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Remember, if you are a fan of Easter egg secrets and tiny details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. A big thank you to all of you who recommended a detail featured in today's video. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.